Hi everyone. So um, today, I would like to share a story of how Jesus saved my life. I mean, He has always been saving my life, but from the beginning, um, it was when I was ten years old, and I was coming from home and I was going to my friend's place. You know, back in those days, I was very rude and fierce. My friends used to be scared of me, and I remember in those days when I say something, I I needed that to be done at all costs. So even if it is at school and I'm telling my friends do this, they just have to do it because I have said that they have to do it. I used to fight my friends a lot. I was a very bad child. Um, I remember there was a certain time at church. They were praying for kids who were um, witches and wizards, something like that. And my mom, I remember, thought of sending me there. Perhaps she looked at me and she was like, maybe my child is really a witch you know something like that I know I know um, my life was very bad back then um, I used to go to church per routine I used to sing because it was okay we could sing but my mom and Dad's prayers played a big role in my life. You know, that upbringing of going to church and having family worship every night, you know, it changed my life somehow. Because as I told you back in those days, I used to be rude, and my rudeness was not only to my fellow friends, but even to the elder. And on that road, I remember walking and hearing this voice in my head, let us, you've got to change. It was only 10 and I didn't know where that voice came from. And I was like, I've got to change. And I felt it in my heart that I really had to change, you know? So... I walked that path. The previous date was a day which I had fought with my friend and I changed my direction and I was like, I am going to go to that friend's house and I'm going to apologize. It was like I was driven to go there. So I took myself and went to her place. Her parents did not want me to see her because they thought I had come to fight and something like that. I remember kneeling down on the road before I even came to the house. I remember kneeling down and I'm like, I came to apologize. I am so sorry. And the mother was like, are you serious that you're not going to to beat our daughter again and I was like I promise and when she came outside she was scared I could see that and I told her I'm really and truly sorry for whatever I did yesterday and we began to, to play and, and we began to, to do we, we went back to how it used to be it was in the same year that we were transferred from the from Cholo Malamulo Makwasa to Blantai Sunnyside and we went to Sunnyside and my life kept on growing in Christ you know Jesus saved my life I can see that I did not know what kind of person that I was going to be if at that day, at that moment, Jesus did not talk to my heart, did not talk to my soul. Perhaps I would have been a worse sinner, a worse Christian sinner, 
you know? And that's when I realized that we all got chances. You know, like it doesn't matter what you have done or where you're coming from. What matters it is the decision that you're going to make right now. If you make a decision to follow Christ and make him your Lord and personal savior today, it is the best decision you'll ever make and you never regret it. I was young. It's true. I was very young. But I learned Christ at that age. It is not about age, but it is about your conviction. You can still be 60 and serve God. You can be 90 and serve God. You can be 9, 10, 8, 7 years old and still serve God and serve and save. You know, I call you all to Christ today. He is a loving amazing savior he came on earth just to die for you and for me he gave his life for our sins what an amazing love that is brethren tonight i want to call you to jesus this is just a part of my story but there is more that god has done in my life There were certain times I I wanted to sleep and fall and what did he do? He held my hand and told and he told me that Larry you are not done yet. I am with you. You know that's what Jesus does when we believe when we trust him and when we are about to sleep what he does is he reminds us where we are coming from and he reminds us our goal. Yours and mine our goal is to serve the Lord is to show him to other people is to make everybody be saved I call you to Jesus tonight may you please not say no may you please say yes to him he loves you unfathomably and he just needs you back to him Okay? Please accept his calling. Accept him now. He loves you. Okay? Jesus is our savior. Jesus is my savior. May you stay blessed always as you make this decision. to follow Christ